Whether you spend the majority of your time on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, or some combination of them all, the world of social media is certainly a very interesting place. The point, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Here's my list of five unfortunate online trends we've all bought into and continue to keep in place. Number one is the death of audio. To most of us, the idea of the media or entertainment world being without audio sounds completely uninteresting. Yet according to multiple sources, 85% of Facebook videos are watched without the sound on. Wow! Are you even listening to the sound right now, or are you purely reading this as text at the bottom of the screen? While a lot of this is certainly attributable to the environment in which we watch the video itself, such as this work where audio may or may not be possible, it's still quite a staggering number that suggests it definitely extends outside of that. Let's not be afraid to unmute the video and actually get the full scope of what it is that we're watching. Number two is that it needs to be put into a list or we're just not reading it. It's called reading. Top to bottom, left to right, group words together as a sentence. I know the fact that this is a list makes me seem quite hypocritical, but it's just because I've adapted to what we as a collective seem to have adopted. I can go through the history of the hundreds of articles I've written and some of the highest performing ones were nine this, eight that, seven this, or six things to not do. It's because that's what we seem to go into and we don't read anything in between those lines. Let's try and expand our attention spans and get through entire content, whether it's presented in that format or in some other great way. Number three is that sex sells. We've all seen that article about gut health, that meme with that empowering quote on it, or that YouTube video music playlist that we want to listen to with one common denominator. They all have something sexy to lure us in as the featured image. Now, it's not to put down this content since a lot of it is great and they just use that as a way to get us there. But let's also not forget to click on and appreciate the things that don't have that eye candy associated with it. Number four is that our attention spans are shrinking. I have a very short attention span. But our point is very simple. You see when- Oh look, a bird! According to Adweek, Snapchat is the fastest growing social media platform, well on pace to outperform many of the well-established heavy hitters that have already been out there for so long. While that's cool for Snapchat, what that shows us as a collective is that our attention spans are really shrinking. Do we really need things to be delivered to us in 10 seconds or less to keep us interested and engaged? Now there's nothing wrong with receiving content in that format, but there is something to say if that trickles out into every other part of our lives. Be observant as you use these platforms and in other things in your life to see whether your general attention span is also shrinking. And if it is, do things to combat it and build it back up. Number five is that we're never offline. According to a Time Magazine article in December of 2015, Americans collectively check in on their phones an average of 8 billion times per day. That's 46 times per user. When you think of that, that's crazy. Even when we're not taking into consideration the effects that these devices can have on us when we're not using them but are in their vicinity through things such as EMFs. The world is a beautiful place to see and discover. Let's remember to do that more regularly directly rather than just vicariously through other people on social media.